primer better. It's like a good base and primer for your skincare products. And hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to do once again another review video, but it's going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to go into too depth with the actual products that I'll be reviewing. Um, I've Recently, I've been trying these products for the past three months now. I've been using it for this entire winter season. Um, next month in September, it's finally spring here in Sydney. So, you know, I can just say that I survived the whole winter skincare thing. Because in winter, my skin is really dry. So, you know, I'm glad I was able to kind of avoid having really dry skin in winter if that makes sense um, so this is where I wanted to talk about with different seasons of course some people like to stick to one skincare product throughout the entire year until they finish it but you know when you have different seasons and you know drastic weather changes and climate changes your skin you know can react really different with that for me, winter, my skin is definitely really dry. Um, even though I do have an oily T-zone, it's not as bad in winter, so it's okay. Um, but the rest of my face goes really, really dry. And in summer, it's the opposite. It gets pretty oily, especially with the oily T-zone. And, you know, it just starts to naturally get a little bit more oily throughout the rest of my face. But that's in summer. As for winter, um, I've always had dry skin. So, you know, one time I was just looking in Priceline, I was kind of killing some time before my dentist appointment and I noticed that they had this introduction sale like half price on this new Pond skincare range and I decided to pick it up because, you know, great, it's the beginning of June and my skin is starting to get dry from the cold weather so let's try this out since everything's half price see how it works and you know just you know see how it works and for me it's Ponce is a brand that i've always known since i was young this collection is the hydro revital aqua collagen um i guess you can call it a series and here it's kind of a basic skincare routine as for skincare with winter like i said my skin is a lot more dry and you know I kind of wanted to keep it moisturized and hydrated throughout the season just so, you know, my makeup could apply a lot more better, my skin could be more well taken care of and it'll just be hydrated and I'll have less skin problems in the winter because having dry skin is actually quite annoying and especially when you try putting on makeup, it actually ex accentuates dry patches and skin and I really don't like seeing that so yeah i have been using this pretty much for the past three months it looks like i haven't been using a lot but i've been using it daily um there's some days where i don't use it like in the mornings i tend to use this more at nighttime. so first would be the aqua collagen essence toner um like in the previous video with the wonder pore the toner just really helps balance out your skin after cleansing again in terms of using this um toner all you have to do is apply it onto a cotton pad um, this doesn't have a pump, it's just ones that you just kind of, you know, pour the product onto the pad, kind of soak it, Not you don't have to be too generous, but just enough that it will cover your face and, you know, just apply it onto your skin, just how you would use a toner, if these guys do use toners on a daily basis. And what's interesting is that in the packaging or the actual toner itself, there's tiny glitters um, in the actual product, so when you apply this onto your face, you can actually see your skin kind of kind of glowing and looking radiant and you know, there's also the little speckles of glitter and it just kind of adds a little bit more, I guess, glow onto your skin and just makes it look so hydrated and healthy and at first I was kind of bothered with the glitter but you know, now, you know, when you can see your skin glowing and looking really radiant and hydrated in winter times, especially when it's cold, it actually looks great so I didn't mind that too much and then next you have the aqua collagen serum and I don't really use a lot of serums you might remember the Claire's um, what is it called the, the serum the supplementing I don't know the smoothing soothing serum but it was from Bush trend and I did use that last year until I used it up and that had a pump but the packaging for this is a little bit different it's in a kind of glass bottle and it has that dropper kind of 
packaging that you might have seen in medication back then <laughs> as a kid. Um, and I actually really like this packaging a lot. Um, so you can just get the product and using the dropper, just two to three drops onto the tip of your fingers and kind of massage it and then apply it onto your skin. And you know, applying it onto your skin, it'll feel really moisturized and it's just a step that I really didn't think was important back then, but a serum just really does, you know, add that extra hydration to your skin and it really does make the texture of your skin feel really smooth and I love it. I actually like this the most out of the collection. And the last is the um, Aqua Collagen Gel and this is actually a face cream. With face creams, there are a lot of types of formulas. There could be the really moisturizing, thick, creamy ones, or there could be um, the gel types, which is more recommended for oily skin types. So I decided to try this out because um, sometimes, you know, face creams can just be too much for my skin, especially for my T-zone area. And sometimes I don't like using two different kind of face products. So I decided to just, you know, play it safe and just go for a gel that could still work with normal to dry skin and oily skin as well. It's a blue gel cream and I really do love this formula a lot. I think from now on I'm going to stick to a moisturizer that's more gel based since it's more lightweight but you know at the same time it's still hydrating on the skin. Usually I'll just use a pea size amount. I think that's good enough for my entire face and I would apply that all over my face and because it's a gel um, formula and consistency it absorbs into skin a lot more quicker you know your skin just feels so hydrated and it's like the final step to your skincare um, because you know you've had the toner, you've had the serum and your skin is just feeling really moisturized, hydrated and smooth and it's great. So that's basically my skincare routine for winter. I try to keep mine basic because I'm not really the type to use a lot of products because I really can't be bothered and I'm not really someone who can stick to that kind of routine like consistently and you know. And also, <laughs> since it's winter, this isn't really part of the puns but you know, I wanted to add it in because this is like the essential for me in winter. I've been using the Nivea um, or Nevea, however you guys pronounce it. Hydro Care Lip Balm or Chapstick. It has SPF 15, which isn't so bad because in winter times it's not too hot. It's just a clear lip balm, and I've been using this every freaking day because my lips naturally are very dry, but in winter it's even worse. Um, there's nothing really special about that chapstick, it's just very hydrating. And you know, I like it clear because I tend to wear a lot of lip colors on my lips on a daily basis, so that's why I didn't go for anything really tinted. But yeah, as for winter times, I think now I'm going to kind of stick to this where um, depending on the season, I'll have different skincare products. Um, so for summertime, I'll probably focus more on the Wonder Pore products or like you know, products that's more in the pores, and then for um, autumn and winter, I'd be more focused on hydrating my skin. So I think I have this kind of plan going on and hopefully I can do that. And honestly, um, I wasn't really too excited with these products to be honest. Um, you know, like I said, I only found them like when I was trying to kill some time. It was on sale and it actually surprised me with how these products worked and I'm like really impressed. And um, I actually can't wait to, you know, continue using this. I'm just probably going to use this up and we'll see you next year if I'm going to go back to this. But so far I'm really impressed and all together they work so well. And, you know, winter time my skin hasn't been dry at all. So, you know, I'm pleased with the results. I'm content with my skin. And I haven't been breaking out that much in winter, so that's great. So that's basically it. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's not too interesting because it's not Korean related, but I've been using it for the past three months, so I'm really, you know, happy with the results that I've been getting. And, you know, I really just wanted to share it with you guys and kind of, you know, talk about the products because I've been loving it so much. If there's anything else you're curious about these products, don't forget to comment down below. I will gladly reply back and get back to you guys ASAP and that's basically it for today. Hopefully this video was short and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!